All right, what's going on guys? T. Torres back here for another video. I hope each and every single one of you is having a great day. And I just want to thank you all so, so much. Um, we just hit the 12,000 subscriber mark, so by the time this video goes live, we're probably actually going to be more than that. So once again, thank you all for subscribing to my channel and yeah, and you know, making me enjoy what I do and put this content out for you guys. So let's dive right into today's video. Alrighty, in today's video, we're going to be installing these new aftermarket tail lights. I'm super excited to install these bad boys. I did get the smoked option. As you can see, I didn't want to keep them clear. I already have, I smoked my tail lights out already on my car, no need to uh, redo all that again. So let's get to unboxing this bad boy. Now I've seen these on a couple different people's car already. I absolutely love them. Get them up. I was like, yo, I gotta get a pair of these for my car. What do I need to do to get them? All right, so first things first. This is gonna be the upper part of the brake light. As you can see right here, here it is. Nice and tinted. I, I absolutely love, love, love the look of that. So let's go ahead and put that back in its hole. All right, so here you have it. I'll just grab one of these out for now. Do my best to try to get this on camera also. Let me get this packaging uh, ripped open. Okay. God, I love the smell of new freaking car parts. All right, so here you have it. Here are the brand new um, tail lights that we have. They are sequential tail lighting, uh, all LED, plug and play and also have the nice, nice uh, tinted smoke look to it. Um, if you guys are interested in these uh, actual tail lights, I'll have them down in the link, uh, link down below in the description. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install these and do a little bit of before and after of what the stock tail lights look like versus these aftermarket tail lights. I'm super excited to see what these are gonna look like. Hopefully it brings the whole rear end of the car. You know, I already have red and black back there, so these nice tinted tail lights should look really good back there. All right, I want to give you guys just a little bit of a closer look without having this plastic on there. I'm going to put that back on before we install them. So here is what the actual tail light looks like. Sorry about all the glare. But as you can see, I love the nice sleek LED smoked uh, background. I can't wait to see what these look like on the back of my car. And this bar right here is going to be your turn signal. And one of the most things that I'm excited about, actually, I think this bar is a turn signal. Whenever you first turn the car on, it has like an initiation like light up sequence. So I'm very curious to see what that looks like on my car. All right, let's get to the garage and get the install process started. All right, it is still freaking 90 something degrees in Alabama right now. So, and the sun is actually currently setting. So I thought this would be a good time to start this project, but obviously it's not, it's still freaking super hot. But anyways, I don't think I mentioned uh, in the previous clip, these are these lights are from Boosted Whips. I'll have a link down in the description to where you can get these exact lights and to the Instagram page. Go check out all their products. All right, so now let's get into the install. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously pop the trunk. And I've already removed the headliner. What you're gonna do is you have a few clips you have to remove. I think it's a total of nine. You have two clips here that I took out uh, with my drill. And then literally the tail light comes right out and then you're gonna go ahead and wanna remove all those clips. And then I'll show you how we're gonna get uh, this part of the light actually out. All right, so there you have it. The tail light is now out. Just remember you want to turn all the bulbs counterclockwise and then this very top piece uh, right here is just a clip. You're gonna pinch it and just remove it. All right, I wanted to just give you guys just a quick little demonstration. I have the, the actual brake light uh, wired in. So whenever you go to lock the car, this is what it's gonna look like. Okay, and then unlock, watch this. I love how the lights light up. That's, that's freaking awesome. I think that looks pretty sweet. And then, you know, after a certain amount of time, it goes back off. And then, boom. 
saying that's freaking awesome. All right, so let's get the other brake light on top of the trunk done, and then uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like, and then we'll move on over to the driver's side, and I'll show you step by step on exactly what it's gonna look like and how to uh, wire everything up. All right, guys, now for a demonstration of the entire tail light on the passenger side being done. All right, so here's the car being unlocked. And it should go back down. And then it'll go solid red. That's freaking nice. And whenever you lock the car, that's what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go get in the car and show you guys what the actual turn signal looks like. All right guys, so we're now on day two of the taillight install. Um, last night, whenever I was trying to finish up the install, I had let this little, let's see if you can see it. There's a 10 millimeter, right? Of course, the camera doesn't want to focus, but there's a 10 millimeter um, nut that you have to take off that allows this piece to come off. It actually had slid down into the trunk and I just got so frustrated I didn't have a magnet to actually get it out so but this is what it looks like completed in the daylight passenger side's done and we still have to do this side i'm going to walk you guys step by step on how exactly uh how exactly you want to do this side so let's dive right back into it so first things first of course you're going to do is you're going to take this this uh, phillips head out this phillips head out and you have two 10 millimeters right here and then the other 10 millimeter is going to be right back there let's get those taken out now <clears throat> all right so we now have the two Phillips head screws are moved out of here. We have the 10 millimeter one here and then the two uh, other 10 millimeter ones that are moved here. One of the tricks that I found out that worked for me is whenever you're trying to get this 10 millimeter nut off, tilt the trunk down and then what I did is I, I loosened it and then one handedly spun this, tilted the trunk down or excuse me trunk and then the nut sat right on top and that worked perfect. I did not do that for this side and I learned the hard way and the nut went all the way to the bottom. So now we got everything out. We're gonna go ahead and remove this piece, this piece, and then we're gonna unclip the, the lighting right there. I'm gonna make sure you turn all these. Counter, clockwise, do that one, do that one. Okay, boom. There you go, that's how easy it is to remove the tail light. Simple. All right, so the next thing you want to do is just come here very gently, remove all the uh, all the bulbs that you have. I did have LED reverse, and then I did have the blinking brake lights. So these are going to go directly into the actual new uh, tail lights themselves. Okay, so one of the main things that I want to stress is that these connections are polarity sensitive. So you want to make sure your black wire here is running parallel with your black wire there so you see how each wire has a black there's a black one there black one there and a black one there i actually had to contact the guy who made these lights so you want to make sure that all your black wires are running exactly parallel with the other black wires there so they kind of just gets you know you snug them in there and you twist them back in just like that so make sure the black wire is running parallel with the wire you have in the tail light and i'll show you guys that in just a second all right so like i mentioned what you're going to want to do is make sure they're all turned the correct way. So this one's going to go in there like so. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you see these little, uh, you see the tabs that are all provided here. You literally just insert those in, into the hole that, that you guys have. And yeah, that's it. I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I'm done. Uh, finishing getting all this stuff because it's hard to film and do this at the same time all right so I'm gonna try to do my best I can uh, I went ahead and did a little test test to make sure it's all lit up so here here's what everything looks like in the back of it everything is lined up correctly all the black wires run parallel with the other black wires and that one last piece right there that's the piece that goes up to this actual uh, the last part of the brake light 
Okay, so this is the wire that they provided um, for the other the top part of the brake light. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the part right here that has the the yellow and green wires exposed. You're going to take that to your tail light and you're going to plug it in just like that. Okay. Now since we have that ran, I'm going to drop that wire in there and I'm going to go ahead and get the tail light situated how I want them to sit and have this wire exposed just like the other side okay so as you can see right here you have to have this wire exposed right here and then this wire matches up to this white piece right here so we're going to do is we're going to undo this clip cut this all in and then we're going to put the new actual uh brake light in all right so the next thing that we are going to want to do is i went ahead and removed the clip that was here disconnected this clip and this clip let's go ahead and gently bring the trunk lid down okay and then just kind of wiggle this out okay boom now you have this piece is now out okay and so so the next piece to the puzzle of course is to grab the new one and then we're going to get it all wired in get everything zip tied up and put the uh, put the liner back in the actual trunk lid all right so as you can see we do have the next piece of the puzzle is put in okay we just don't have it obviously fastened down so just very gently work this way up all right so what you want to do is you want to connect black to black as you can see there and then the white piece that's off the new the new tail light part is white to white and then i'm gonna zip all this up make it look all nice and pretty so let's gently close the trunk and see if we got good good power and ground and all that good stuff let's go ahead and unlock the car all right she appears to be working so it should fall back down as it's doing and then power back on perfect all right so there you guys have it so i'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown of everything that i did um, i'm not going to show you all me tidying everything up and zip tying it so i'm just going to give you a look all right, so just like I mentioned, you have to undo two bolts right here, two here, and one there, and make sure all your connections are nice and neat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck all this back behind here, zip tie this one, you know, loosely, but not not too tight to where you know it's gonna cause a bind every time the trunk open and open and closes. We're gonna put the headliner back on, and then once of course it gets dark back out, we are going to. Uh, we are going to demonstrate, you know, the, the brake lights, the reverse lights, the startup, the reverse lights, all that good stuff. So you guys can get a good look. But yeah, I am super impressed on how the smoke tail lights look. I cannot wait to see them at nighttime light up. All right, guys. So I just finished putting everything back together. Got everything wired, zip tied. I'm going to take the plastic off. Man, I think these these freaking tail lights look amazing. Especially that tinted look. I think that looks awesome. Now there's a lot of light out here, so let's see what we can do when whenever we unlock the car, see if the camera can pick it up. Oh, I'm in love. So the All right, guys, I realized once I got done editing this video, I didn't think that it was fair that I didn't show you guys what these tail lights look like uh, in the pitch black. So what I'm going to do now is set you guys up on the tripod and show you. Alright guys, so hopefully that demonstration came out nice and good. So here's what the tail lights look like with just the hazards on. Remember it's super dark out, so I'm trying to get a good, good, nice, clean picture of it. Let's go ahead and lock the car. 
and lock it again. I'll take a step back so you can see just how bright the actual tail lights are. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, guys, so once again, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you are interested in these uh, tail lights, they only make them right now in the, for the sedan model. I'll have the link down in, in, the, in the description. And uh, yeah, I hate to tell you, but they're only for the sedan model. I freaking absolutely love them. They look great at nighttime. So if you're stopping into the channel for the first time, please hit that like button, turn your post notifications on, and thank you all so much for subscribing to my channel. Peace. It's rap pack to my pulse flat. We keep it real, no false rap. I got four cars and they all black. Got four bras and they all that. We call that ballin'. Doing this is my calling.